Hi, Matthew Superstars. It's Mrs. R. And guess what? We're back from Thanksgiving, and I don't know about you, but my mind turns to all the December holidays that we celebrate. I thought I'd start off with a story about my favorite character, one of many, but this is Bad Kitty. And you guys, we even have chapter books that carry on with Bad Kitty's adventures. So this is a picture book. It's Bad Kitty's Christmas, and it's by Nick Brule. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the city, not a creature was stirring. Does this sound familiar? It sounds like that poem it was the night before Christmas, doesn't it? But it has a twist. Not a creature was stirring. Look at this. Bam. Crash. Kaboom. Except for Bad Kitty. A Bad Kitty's Christmas by Nick Brule. How did she get here, you may ask yourself. It's a very long story, I'll tell myself. First thing this morning, I woke to a clatter. I ran down the stairs and asked, what's the matter? That's when I found Kitty in the midst of her caper. She torn through the gifts and was covered in paper. She tore through all the Christmas gifts. The angels were ambushed. The books were all bumped. The cards were all crushed. The drums were all dumped. The eggnog was ended. The fruitcake was flung. The gifts were all gutted. The holly unhung. Oh, bad kitty. The icicles injured. The jingle bells jumped. Kris Kringle was kicked. The lights were all lumped. The manger was mauled. The nutcracker nailed. The ornaments ousted. The poinsettia paled. Did you guys notice what's happening? They're using the alphabet and the words in the alphabet. The quiet was quashed. The ribbons ripped up. The star was sent swirling. The tree was tripped up. The unicorn uglied. Vixen was vexed. The wreath looked just wretched. The xylophone X. Our Yuletide looked yucky. My zeal had been zapped when I found Kitty in the shreds where she napped. Oh, Kitty, bad Kitty. I'm filled with distress. You've ruined our Christmas. Just look at this mess. All of these presents, these were for you. Why did you do it? And Kitty said, Mew. Though there were presents and bundles and boxes galore, Kitty was angry. She wanted more. She wanted an ape and a bear and a cormorant dish, a duck and an eagle baked with a fish, a gecko, a horse, an ibis, and a jackal, a kiwi and a lion in a soup with a mackerel, a narwhal, an owl, and a penguin on rye, a quetzal, a rabbit, and a seahorse in pie, a toad, an urchin, a vole, and a whale, a xerox, and a yak fried with zebra tail.
Can you imagine eating all those dishes? That does it. I've had it. Just look at this place. I don't care if you're a mad kitty. You're a disgrace. I've never known someone so selfish and greedy. Tis this season you know to give to the needy. I'd better start cleaning. What will you do? Do you feel like helping? And Kitty said, Mew. Kitty's not being very helpful. She was still miffed when we packed up to go on an afternoon trip in the Christmas Eve snow. As we left for the city to see Uncle Murray, the window was open and she left in a hurry. Oh, Kitty, dear Kitty, don't go, you must stay. We shouted and cried as she ran away. But still she abandoned us right there and then. We thought that we'd never see Kitty again. Oh no, puppy too, come back. There's the puppy. Twas the night before Christmas, and out on the street I saw a little black cat with little wet feet. She sat in an alley, a path dark and scary. She didn't look jolly, she didn't look merry. She looked so alone as she sat there and pondered, as if she was lost and unsure where she wandered. And then she began to meow and to bellow. She cried for a while until I said, Meow, meow. What do we have here, a little black cat? Don't you have a home? Let's look into that. And you can see the dog is trying to find her. And there's a little old lady that's helping bad kitty out. There, there, little cat, it'll be all right. You shouldn't be out on this cold, wintry night. I'll take you upstairs to dry off your fur. Would you like some food? And this kitty said, purr. Now, my home's a bit empty. Why, it's practically bare, but I still have a little and I'm happy to share. I grabbed a clean towel to dry off her back and set her down at a plate with a small, tasty snack. You can see the dog is still following Bad Kitty's trail. Do you like this old tree, the one on the shelf? Did you know I adorned it all by myself? You won't see any tinsel, not even one light. It only has photos, they're all black and white. Come sit with me, cat, and let me show you all the folks in my life and the people I knew. Here's my Aunt Agnes with my brother Bobby, with dear cousin Clancy and his daughter Dottie. That's Edgar the Elder with my father Frank, next to his grandmother Gail and my husband Hank. And the dog is still following the trail. These are my in-laws, Ike and Ol Ilana, with their two juveniles, John and Joanna. They each had a kid, Kendra and Ken, and the lineage goes on with Landra and Len. Here's my mother, Marge, with her lovely niece, Nan, with her offspring, Oscar, and her partner, Pam. That's Quinn and the Quilt, a family heirloom. He's related to Robert, who hails from Khartoum. That's my sister Sophie and her twins, Tina and Todd, with dear Uncle Upton, who had a nose that was odd. That's Vasha, my friend, or friend in Afrikaans. She's Walter's wife, and he is my son. Do you think the dog will find Kitty? This last one's my favorite. It's the whole silly gang at a Christmas reunion where we laughed and we sang. We met in New York near the end of December. I wrote on the picture so I always remember. Oh, here it says Christmas 1962. We're spending our Yule at the Central Park Zoo. This cat looked entranced while I patted her fur, and she stared at each picture there before her. You should know, cat, that I'm still quite content with only this tree that looks slightly bent. I may not have jewels or a car or a yacht, but I still have my memories, and that's quite a lot. The dog found the stairs to the old lady's house. 
Little cat, this is what Christmas should be. It's not about stuff from a big spending spree. It's not about presents all over the place. It's not about food or stuffing your face. Like Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Eid, you see, Christmas is all about family. Home's where the heart is, that's what they say, so I'll bet your poor heart feels miles away. Don't fret, little cat. Wipe off that tear. If we can't find your home, then you can stay here. But I could tell she was homesick. She wanted more, and that's when we heard a scratch at the door. Guess who's there? There's someone to see you, you lucky black cat. I think he knows where your home is at. Like a furry black flash, she flew out the door. She was moving so fast she did not touch the floor. So I guess he'll be leaving, I said with a sigh. I'm so glad I met you. Tell your folks I said hi. So I sat in my chair and put my tree in my lap and settled myself for a long winter's nap. I was happy to know she had a home of her own. Too bad I'd be spending my Christmas alone. Just when I started to slumber and snore, again I heard scratching at my front door. This cat had come back like she had something to do. What do you want? And Kitty said, meow. Two. Twas the night before Christmas we were filled with regrets as we sat in our seats missing our pets. The house seemed so empty without them around. I wished and hoped they were both safe and sound. Then on to the door there arose such a knock I sprang from my chair with the sudden shock. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but kitty and puppy and a lady most dear. They're home, they're home, Christmas is saved. Welcome home, kitty. I hope you behaved. And thank you, dear lady, for bringing them back. I hope that you'll stay for a late Christmas snack. And she did. Don't you know? In fact, she moved in. Some friends are like family, and she became kin. Up here is her photo. It's high in the tree, wrapped snug in the branches for all to see. So Kitty is home now. I think that she'll stay. She's gone up to bed to end this long day. The story's over, now that everything's right. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. So what did you guys think? Did you just think the story was going to end when Kitty made a mess? Did you think when she ran away, she'd find this lonely older lady? And did you think that she would lead the lonely older lady back to her house so that the older lady became part of the family and she wouldn't be alone. What a sweet, sweet, heartwarming story. I don't know. Every time I read this, I forget about the old lady <laughs> and how, where the story takes us. I mean, isn't that what stories are all about? Sometimes you don't expect it to turn out the way it did. But this one made my heart feel happy. And Matthew Superstars, I hope you're feeling happy this week, too. Stay safe, and I'll see you next week with another story. Bye.